What's up, family? How you guys doing today? I'm here with Milky Tech, and today we're taking a look at an SSD. Let's get this done. Today we're going to take a look at the Crucial BX500 SSD. It is a DRAM-less SSD. That means it does not have RAM built into the SSD, which makes it a more affordable product. However, it is not as fast as a regular SSD that has DRAM. I just need an SSD just to throw the OS on it, and it's not going to be doing much reading and writes from this SSD. Everything is going to be reading right from the other Western Digital Red hard drives. And if you guys haven't seen that video, link will be somewhere over here. Yes, DRAM does increase the speed and reliability. But but with the uses that I'm trying to use it, as long as you don't go over 50-60% capacity of this drive, it should be just fine. Now this drive is a fast drive, even without uh, any DRAM, so for the use that I want to use it for, this is more than enough. Now me personally, if I want to put something in a laptop or in my desktop, I'll go something with DRAM or I'll go into VME if it supports it. A link for this product will be in the description below. Alright, so let's go over the specs of this drive. The interface of this drive is a SATA 6 gigabits per second capacity is 240 gigabytes form factor is two and a half inches the read and write speeds are 540 megabytes per second and 500 megabytes per second respectively the ssd endurance is 80 terabytes so that means you can write up to 80 terabytes before this drive fails and that is a lot of information and it has a three-year warranty let's look at the features of this drive with this drive you will get improved performance well of course you get improved performance with read and write speeds in excess of 500 megabytes per second pretty quick it has tools for easy installation it has simple instruction, cloning software, and how-to videos on how to uh, upgrade your drives. So pretty convenient. They have award-winning support, so if you need help, you'll be able to contact them and get any support that you need. And it has a three-year warranty, which is awesome. Most drives only have a one-year warranty. They, they give you three with this. How nice. Let's go over the product. All right, so let's go over the package. It's not much of this. Very basic package. The name of the company. It's a Crucial BX500, two and a half inch solid state drive with 240 gigs. The memory and storage experts i like the brand crucial not much on this side in the back just tells you about the software to clone easy installation and the firmware optimization so i'm guessing you just have to go to the crucial website and download the firmware and flash this let's just open it up oh, nice easy packaging pop it out we have our SSD and our user guide. Let's see what we have in our user guide. Basically, to get started, go to the Crucial website. So here's our drive. It's pretty nice and lightweight. If you're replacing a laptop drive, hey, you're gonna shave off some uh, some ounces off of it, make it a little bit lighter and more power efficient. No moving parts. So let's tour the product. On the top, we just have the branding Crucial BX series. And on the back, we just some serial numbers and the storage amount and the name. Over here is how it's connected. We have a SATA power and a SATA connector. Let's test this guy out and see what kind of performance we're going to get. All right, now, so let's try to clone the drive. All right, we need to hop onto Chrome or whatever website browser you like to use. Go to this website, Crucial Support SSD. Let's click on here. Accept all the cookies. All right, download their, their cloning software. And it is a two and a half inch. And it gives you everything that you need to set it up here. How to install, USB cable, and all that. I'm gonna clone. Looks like they have a partnership with Cronus, which is a pretty decent software to use. They have a free version, but I guess with their promotion, you probably have the full version you should be able to use. So we'll about to find out. Okay, we'll have that there. And let's go back. The firmware support, I believe, is this optimizer tool. So it has administrator. So let's get a desktop shortcut. Let's give it some access. And here is that their software. And let's get the latest firmware for our SSD. So it looks like we have the latest firmware on our SSD. That's good. So let's start cloning then. Alright, let's finish downloading. Let's install Acronis. Alright, let's install the software for cloning. Let's start a cloning wizard. Let's just do automatic. Let's select the source, which has an NVMe have an NVMe drive on this laptop, so we're not going to install them here, but this is just for demonstration. Now, it'll do all the partitioning, hopefully. So, I'm gonna now select our target drive. Yes, it will delete all the partitioning. That is A-OK. -okay. 
So it'll give you a couple options whether if you want to use it on this computer, on another computer, or if you just want to use it as a data disk. Since I want to use it on this computer, you know what? Let's try it on another machine. What's great about it is we'll create a bootable OS, which is what we need. So now we're at the summary page, and the summary page just tells you exactly what's going to happen. Yeah, I'm closing disk one onto disk two, and it shows you the partition, how everything's going to be spaced out in your. You just hit proceed, new SSD, and it's going to clone everything over. That's it. It's a simple process, and you just watch it and then slap it in the computer. Then there you guys have it, the Crucial BX500. It is a pretty decently fast drive. It's not as fast as the manufacturer claims. However, I think it could be a bottleneck to the USB controller. It could be that, or since it's DRAM-less and OS it isn't installed on the drive itself, it could be because of that. I'll definitely revisit that at a later time when I do have an OS installed on this drive. The cloning process is fairly easy. They're giving you software to use, an excellent software by Acronis. That is basically my default go-to cloning software for almost any drive. Overall, I think this is a great drive that will do everything that I need it to do. And link for this drive will be in the description below. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like, hit subscribe, and ring that bell so you get notified when I release my next video. If you guys have a question, a comment, or want to say hello, what's good? Drop it in the comments below and I will see you guys next time. Peace.